Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about variants. If you haven't made the variant already, and you might have, I think I might have done the variant already, then that's fine. We will discuss variants in the schematic. The schematic isn't completely finished. It's not done. I hope you finished your schematic up to this point already. If you haven't, you can see the reference design and finish the schematic, or you can just look at this. You can pause this and finish your schematic this way from the parts that are in your library that you either fixed up yourself or that you got from the download link in a description from the previous videos. So now, once we have our parts placed, we need to set this LED as a do not place. So let's go ahead, save our project. Under here, we want to right click and choose variants. Now, we don't have any variants here, so we'll create one. Choose add variant. I'll call it V01. Okay, you can allow fab variation of fabrication outputs. I won't do that. Now I just click add, uh, uh, excuse me, hit cancel, click OK. Now this adds a column to your list. Now, sometimes you may not see this. You may have uh, something go like this where you barely notice that and you only see this thing. Uh, and then it shows you the details for each part as you select it. Bring this down if that happens. Great. This part here, this LED one, I want it to be as a do not place component. So you can click on here and click on the ellipses and choose not fitted or alternate part, you know, so click OK. You can choose the drawing style to indicate not fitted parts. So we have use graphics, you can use the red cross, you can use the gray box with DMP. I like to use the red cross with DMP, just a default and then you can hide not fitted components, you can display not fitted components and draft. It's up to you, click go with the defaults. Now, um, that's that's contradictory, right? It's up to you, but go with the defaults. All right, so now you can click OK. You can also add additional variants, as many columns as you want, really, and then choose what fitted, what is fitted, what is not fitted. Click OK. Now, why does it look the same way? That's because we're editing the schematic. We can view, we can take a look at what the schematic looks like when we view it. But see, there's no cross here. Ah, okay. That's because we're in the no variance option. If we, if we want to see the other one, we can right click and set this as the current version of the schematic we're looking at. And we have our editor, but when we go to library battery and what, how it's viewed on printing, this is how it looks. Now, here's another way you can do variance. You can toggle if a part is not fitted or fitted by clicking on this icon here and then say you know you don't want for whatever strange reason you don't want this diode here you can do that and it'll show up as do not place i'm going to click that to toggle it and then right click to get out of that mode now let's go back to the editor we're going to continue working in this version one variant for now why are we using this variant it's because uh, if we have fitted or non-fitted components, this also affects the bill of materials. In the next video, I will discuss more about uh, how you can use the variant in the bill of materials and to generate a bill of materials.